Salute to those of you who are in Christ Jesus. Uh, today, I've been praying, and the Lord's been dealing with me with matters of the heart. It just keeps coming back to me, fruit of the Spirit, fruit of the Spirit, fruit of the Spirit. And uh, I don't know why that is, Lord only knows. But uh, So I did some research and searching the Scriptures. And uh, I want to read with you Matthew 7 and 20 and Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Matthew 7 and 20. It says, Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. This is the Lord Jesus speaking. And then over in uh, Galatians 5, 22 to uh, 23. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So how will you know? You know them by the fruit of the Spirit, and they'll have love, and they'll have joy and peace, and they'll suffer long through many persecutions. They'll be gentle sometimes and good, good-hearted. They'll have faith you, that you can see. And they'll be meek and humble, meek, not weak. And they'll have temperance. Against such, there is no law. There's no law against that. You can't be judged by because you have that. There is no law against it. A lot of people ask, how will you know if it's a true witness, if they're really saved, if it's a true prophet or Read the Bible. It tells you. You know. And the Bible says, let all things be done out of charity. You know, have a charitable heart. Or a giving heart. Or a loving heart. Everything's done out of love. Even the wrath of God is for love. Even the wrath of God is, is, is love. You know, he, he, he chastises those he loves. He chastises me when I don't do what I'm told to do as I'm commanded. I'll be chastised if I don't uh, obey the voice of God. If I don't follow his laws. If You know, it, it's, it's real simple and people try to make it complicated. I don't know why it's complicated or they can't understand things. But praise God, that's why people, you know. People are, are, are called to uh, encourage and, and, and edify. You know, we're not all equal. There's many levels, you know, and, and some of the ones maybe that are down at the base, you know, they're the feet of God are just as important as, as the head. But, you know, maybe they just don't understand and they need some explanation. So there you go. Now, Jesus said about the fruits, you'll know them. And, and, you know, everybody has fruit and some fruit's rotten. Um, and I'm not talking against anybody in the body of Christ. I'm talking about when I was lost in sin. Um, I didn't, I didn't have love. Um, I didn't, I didn't have none of the fruit of the spirit. I had a, a diff. I had a rotten fruit. And I hope that and I hope that helps you in some way where you know your relationship with God and you may be able to see the truthfulness of another in Christ. And uh, not not a false hearted. Amen. Um, because there are a lot of those out there. But by the fruits you'll know them and even the rotten fruit you'll know that too. Amen. So be blessed and encouraged by the words of Jesus and uh, the words of the Bible in Galatians. Um, God bless you. Have a good day and keep looking up. Time is at hand. Jesus is coming.